Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Swapna here. Hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I'll be showing you four easy tie and dye techniques using fabric paints. Instead of traditional dyes, I'm trying out this technique using simple fabric paints which will be readily available in any arts and crafts store. Here I'm using a white cloth and fevicryl fabric paints which is an Indian brand. So let's begin with the first tying pattern. So from one edge of the fabric, I am folding this fabric like this with the desired width. If you are planning to work on a larger surface, I would recommend to use an iron box to get perfect folds. Once the whole fabric is folded like this with uniform folds, I am going to press on both the sides. You can also use an iron box for this purpose and then I am going to tie with a rubber band. I am tying this rubber band in 5 different portions of this fold, leaving equal space between each knots. To make these knots, you can also use thick threads. Make sure that the knots are really tight. As you can see, I have made 5 different knots with equal space in between. For the shade, I am aiming for a dark indigo shade. For that, I am mixing blue with little touch of black. For this project, I am not using the fabric paint directly from the bottle. I am slightly diluting it and then spreading the paint onto the fabric. You can choose the brush size of your choice. You can also use thicker ones so that you will get to spread the paint really well. I am spreading the paint on the outer portions of the fabric which are visible here so that I will get a white space in between once the fabric is opened. Continue the same process for all the knots. After applying the paint in all the portions, I let it dry for few hours. Just before it got fully dried, I am opening the knots. And this is the end result after this tie and dye technique. If you would have loaded the fabric with more paint between each knots, you would have attained more blues or indigo in these areas. Now let's move on to the second technique. This I am starting to fold the fabric from this corner. Just like the previous one, you can choose the width of your choice and then fold the fabric completely. You can also use an iron box to fix these folds. Once it's folded completely, I'm going to divide the fabric into 5 equal portions using 4 knots. As earlier one, I'm using a rubber band. You can also use a thick thread for this purpose. I am aiming for a pattern with both indigo and black. So I am painting with the same shade on alternate portions.
Now once all the portions are painted, I am letting it dry for some time and then I will remove the knots. Here you can see the beautiful diagonal dye patterns. So now let's move on to this third technique. For that I am using this white cloth and also three bottle caps. To begin with I am fixing the center of the fabric and keeping this bottle cap inside and then tying a knot. And just below that knot I am keeping yet another bottle cap and then again tying a knot. And the same way I am keeping the third bottle cap. For this really interesting pattern, I am using both orange and green. I am painting two portions with orange and two portions with green and letting it dry for some time. Then I am removing the knot and this tie pattern gave us this gorgeous result. You can try this pattern with various complementary shades. Now let's move on to this fourth pattern. For this pattern, I am folding the fabric into 4 equal portions. If you are taking a larger fabric, you can make any number of folds but make sure that the width is slightly larger. Then I am folding the straight portion into smaller triangles like this. After the whole portion is made into small triangles like this, I am tying 2 knots on these two corners now I am going to add colors in these portions Once the paint is thoroughly filled, I am letting it dry for some time and then I will remove the knot.
This tie technique will give a really unique pattern. Hope you all enjoyed watching these four easy DIY tie and dye techniques. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Thank you so much for watching.